Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is Edwin and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about an app that I found out a long time ago. But since the moment that I found out about it, I've been using it every single day because it helps me with my BMW and a lot of things. And this app is actually from the same developers from the Beamer code, the video that I did before this one. And it's called Beamer Link. So uh, in this video I'm going to tell you guys all the things you need to use it and what is going to benefit you if you use it on your BMW. So before we get started, if you guys haven't done it yet, go like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want more mods and more videos please go like the video and all the videos before this one because they're really good and they teach you something too and the only things you're gonna need for this video is gonna be the app and the same thing that we used for the other video which was the OBD connector one you can find it like I said for $15 or less on Amazon it's just an OBD2 diagnostic plug you know you can find it everywhere online it's really cheap and the app is gonna cost you around 30 bucks or 32 depending where you are so the way that I found out about this app was the same way that I found out about the Beamer code it's the same line of videos and someone did a video about Beamer link and they show me things that I didn't know that you can do like for example I don't know if you guys are aware of it but if you guys have a BMW that has two exhausts I'm not talking about dual exhausts but like two pipes on the each side one of them is always close and the other one only opens when you're going high speeds there's a few ways to open both of them all the time but they don't work for this BMW anymore there's one it's called the Golf T mod but that only works if you have an E46 and there's another one which is uh, related to that one but that's only for the E92 BMWs but for the BMW F30 it's a different one because it's electronic so you cannot just go and unplug it I tried to do it it didn't work the tune that I did on my car which was boot mod they give you the option to have it open but that's only on sports mode and like if you guys know you're not gonna drive sports track every single single day you know the only other option was get an exhaust which is gonna have both of them open when I got this car I got the M performance exhaust which was a waste of money because if you think about it for the same amount of money I've gonna got in a real exhaust but it's too late to actually cry about it after watching videos I found out about this app and this app actually lets you open both of your exhausts and the good thing about this app is it has a lot of uses it's not just only to open both of your exhaust but you can actually clear codes on your beamer like if you guys are familiar with beamers you get a lot of check engine lines for no reason you get a check engine line for exhaust check engine line for a downpipe if your intake is taking too much airflow it's gonna check engine line is gonna come up uh, if you're driving gonna get a check engine line if you're a pothole is gonna come on too and this app actually has a feature that lets you clear the codes out without tuning the car there's an option that lets you see all the values of your cars you can see how much PSI you're hitting you can see the pre throttle angle you can see uh, RPMs uh, you can see the temperature in your car oil temperature gas temperature uh, intake temperature uh, you can also see coolant temperature there's a lot of values you can use I don't use all of them but I have a list of them and uh, it comes really helpful because like, let's say you have a modified car full bolts and the car is overheating for no reason you can see in this app and you can see all the values what's causing the main issue of the overheating so the first thing you're gonna go to the apple store and the first thing you're gonna look up is beamer link okay so as you guys can see beamer link is the first option and the second one like i said it's beamer code because it's from the same developers so you're gonna click on beamer link and like i said there's a quick um walk through what all you can see so let's say you bought it let's go to open in order to use this app it needs to be the car turned on completely okay so now that we have the car on we can jump in the app and start messing with it so in order to this app to work you need to have the, your phone bluetooth on because the obd operates with a bluetooth on your phone so the first thing you gotta do is turn on your bluetooth after that you're gonna go to the app okay so we're in the app right now so the app is loading it automatically will connect for itself okay so when you first open it, it's gonna look a little bit like this so like i said there's a lot of things you can do the sensor values the dash Dashboard, exhaust flap, ASD, which I don't know which one this one is, DPF. You can also see the life on your battery. So for this one, let's say you have a battery that's about to give up or like you have a brand new battery you just want to see how much it is. It will run a test on the battery and see how much percentage you have left in it. Okay, so after that, you can also see the error memory info memory and the permanent errors the permanent errors is some errors is never going to go away so let's say you had a car accident and the airbags deployed and there's a code to actually code it out so you don't see the check engine line but the error is going to stay in the computer the car forever but let's click right now on the exhaust flap and as you guys can see on this one there has three options which is open auto and close it always going to be an auto because like I said one of them is always closed and the other one's open and it only opens if it's not automatic and it would only open if it's going high speeds passing 60 in sports mode if you want to have it closed you can have it closed mo all the time if you guys want so for this one there's going to be a little electrical thing that's going to close in my flap it's always an auto but for this video we're going to have it an open the first thing that I do is start turning on the car and when the car is heating up I open it up so because I like to have both of my exhausts open not only one so and I'm going to show you right now there's a little sound like a little metallic sound you're gonna hear when you open both of them 
after that you can go to dashboards and this is when you actually see all the values from your car so for this dashboard you can have a lot of values in your car you can see but for me i only use the ones that i have right now which the first one will be the psi value the intake temperature oil temperature coolant temperature transmission and oil pressure okay so for this one whenever you're driving all the values are going to be changing and this is a good app if you want to see how much psi you're getting as you guys can see in the other videos that i posted i've never taken my car to an actual dyno so i cannot know how much psi i'm actually getting but with this app supposedly it says that i was getting 23 psi and i'm going to put a picture up here right now because i don't want people telling me it's a lie because i have proof so i also have an intake temperature because I run the MST performance intake and uh, sometimes I run it without the cap so it overheats a little bit because all the engine temperature that's coming through so I like to have it on the oil temperature I don't worry about that one cooling I don't worry about that one if the intake is doing good transmission is also good if the other ones are good but like I said you can keep adding most of them and there's a lot of ones you can do sensor values which is almost the same thing but you're not gonna see like a little dash and like I say you can add a lot of it I'm just showing you all the things you can add right now clutch torque and cool and temperature your engine speed fuel level you can add it too but i don't think the fuel level won't suck here because it's always wrong it says that i have like 23 percent even though the tank is full air intake temperature knock detect i don't know what's that misfire count cylinder and that's all good if you have a really modified car but like in this one that is not that modified i don't think it's really necessary okay so now we're going to go to battery like i said the feature in this one it lets you do the battery which uh let's say your battery is a bad condition and you just got it brand new and you want to see how much charge you have left on that one you just click on battery and you're gonna let it load and it's gonna tell you the actual state of your battery and how much you have left like for me my capacity is 91 eah and uh state of the charge is 51 percent so as you guys can see my battery is halfway dead and halfway full however you want to see it and uh if you want to register a new battery just click on the one the bottom down there and it's gonna save all your settings and just trespass it to a new battery so you know how to like recode it all over again so we're gonna go through the error memory and this is where you can clear all the codes that your car is getting so right now it's reading all the codes and this can take a little while because let's say you have a car that's been open for a long time or you have a car that has a lot of errors it needs to go through the computer dme and start looking at all of the errors the car has been getting since it first started getting one okay so when you go to error memory it after finally opens up it's going to tell you all the things that the car is doing like this one crash safety module all around view camera central getaway module electronic transmission management dynamic stability control and if you have any errors on this one's going to tell you right here but you can clear the errors like i said if you get an error i had an error i want to say uh i think it was the real electronic module i don't know what happened because it was a long time ago but i remember i got an error and what you do is just come here on the top it's going to see a little option of a trash can you click and it's going to say clear errors and after you click the clear errors one is going to let you delete all the errors and the car is going to be no check engine line after all if we go to info memory which is the other option it's gonna read the codes again yeah the bad thing about this one like i said it takes a little bit of time because yeah there's a lot of memory in your car there's a lot of errors sometimes so like just the car is collecting data after a long and long time so just using it so you just give it a little time don't stress about it too much because if you take it to an actual tuner and to tell him to delete all the codes he's gonna charge a lot of money and in this way you can do it for 30 bucks and get rid of that disgusting check engine light which talking about it i have a check engine light right now on my car because i don't know what's costing it okay so in the info memory i have 23 errors like i was telling you guys my first error is from the central getaway module if you open you can see the error number that you're getting and a little description about it uh like this one i don't really know what all this is so i'm not gonna touch it i have a, four errors in integrated chassis management like i said uh, there's codes that i don't even know because i'm not a full mechanic so I, I cannot tell you all the errors that i'm getting there's another one from the front electronic module that i was talking about which is uh, error number that and i don't know what that is so i'm not gonna do anything with it there's another error instrument panel control unit another Another one for telematic communication box yeah and there's a lot of errors i cannot even read because like i don't understand what they're trying to say and there's three errors for integrated automatic heating which i don't know what they are so let's say i have 23 errors right now so you can also get a, another good thing about this one is in the info memory you can get a report about all the errors in your car so if you click next to the trash can on top there's going to be an option that tells you generate error report and that's going to help you clear the coding before you do it okay so if we want to clear the errors i'm going to do it to show you guys i'm going to do the trash can on top and you're going to click the 
function clear errors okay so as you guys can see it's just clearing the DME errors is gonna take a little while because there's 23 of them I'm not gonna give you a full class of what they mean because I don't want to lie to you guys because I don't even know what they are so I'm clearing them right now it's actually going faster than the info memory okay so I just finished clearing the errors but there were some errors that didn't got deleted as you guys remember there were 23 in I still have four and if you read on top it says clearing fail not all errors could be cleared please try again and the only ones that didn't get clear were this ones and the integrated chassis management and are this errors and what we're gonna do again is try to delete them individually one by one so we're gonna go click on it and then we're gonna clear the trash can clear errors again and now as you guys can see all the errors are cleared so i don't have any errors anymore as you guys can see so that's a good thing about this one my check engine line should be going away and now the last option we're gonna go to permanent errors i think you in this one you're gonna see the error when i change my exhaust because i was doing like i said the golf t mod and that didn't really go too well so i disconnected something that was not supposed to be disconnected so it threw me a check engine line but i coded it out and not it's not to be showed but it's going to be shown on permanent errors and i'm going to show you when it loads oh well uh well actually just open up and turns out i don't have any errors at all which was weird because i thought i had a lot of errors but yeah i don't know what happened last time i checked i had like five of them and one of them was my exhaust and my intake which uh the intake was saying it was the error because it was too rich airflow coming through or too rich mass airflow one of those two and i got an error because i disconnected my exhaust and i also got an error from my window i don't know what happened there yeah i don't see any errors right now which is actually really good and at the same time weird because like they should be here but they're not showing up so so I think I clear them with the other info memory or probably when I did the tune it actually cleared away so yeah as you guys can see I already show you how do you open your exhaust bulb how you can see your PSI values and other values in your car I show you how you can clear errors in your car by literally by 45 bucks you can clear all the errors that you have check engine lines you can clear them too so now some more technical things about the applets you click on the little setting buttons next to the disconnect in the bottom okay so in this one when you first get the app you're gonna go and see like me I had the vgate iCar Pro Blue Bluetooth 4.0 and you're going to click on that one let's say you're using a different one that will use Wi-Fi or the VPEAK OBD there's a lot of them you can use and uh, you just click whatever you're using and it's going to work for you really simple automatic connect if you want to have it automatic as soon as you open the app and the app detects the OBD connector you can have it on completely I have it on because like I said I use it every single day because I have I like to have both of my exhausts open and the startup screen like I said the only thing I do with this app is my exhaust so I have it startup screen as exhaust flop you can change it on the menu sensor values dashboard ASD which I still don't know what that one is you can also change the units so for speed if you're living somewhere else you can use kilometers I'm in the US right now so I'm using MPH miles per hour the temperature you can still change it to Celsius and Fahrenheit I like to read Celsius better so I'm gonna change it I didn't even notice that one the distance meters kilometer miles and feet then you get the pressure which is a lot of values I cannot read except for the PSI and the bar but there's HPA KPA bar PSI I only know how to do the bar and the PSI so I'm not gonna change that one because I don't want to you know after that not be able to read it so after they have the torque pounds for torque and the NM torque I'm gonna leave it pounds and then the volume US look at gallons and liters I'm gonna I'm in the US right now like I said so I'm gonna leave it in, in gallons another thing is gonna be the theme you can change this one from the blue to amber which the amber is actually just an orange a fancy name for the orange so let's say we change it as you guys can see it changes colors to orange which actually looks good but I, I prefer the blue one so I'm gonna leave it blue yeah and then you get Get more apps like the beamer code like i was saying because this app is developed by beamer code and the beamer code app is the same thing but to code things on your app like the video that i just did and the this beamer code app is also 30 bucks which is actually really cheap for all the things you can do to it so yeah guys i think that's going to be it for the video just explaining to you guys how to clear coding in your car and how to open your exhaust bulbs how to see your psi values and other values temperature so yeah remember to always like the video subscribe if you haven't and share it if you like the content and yeah i think that's it for the video stay tuned because every friday at 11 a.m comes a new video Video. and that's it follow the social enjoy mm -hmm.